Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Thursday afternoon. I hope your week is going great. Weather Savant's video uh, talking about uh, the heat, the heat wave that we have right now. And then we're going to look a little bit long range. Of course, uh, the new pattern, new LRC pattern uh, is setting up uh, over the next two months. And then we're, we're switching into an El Nino as well. El Nino will influence the pattern. So we'll start to see a lot of changes, hopefully for the better as we get into uh, the next couple months, month of August, and then also September, and then the pattern fully set at the end of September into October. And then we go through that pattern for the next year. But the past two years, the pattern has really just kind of stunk, and uh, it's very evident for us right now. First off, huge shout out to my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned and located, 7th and High Street in Joplin. If you have roofing needs, they did mine last year. Uh, the number right there on the screen. Give them a shout. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's go outside. So we're dominated by this big upper level high. So yes, we're still in the same pattern, same cycle that we've been in for the past year, but you have the seasonal changes. So that jet stream has shifted north, but we're still seeing the exact same storm systems moving through that jet right on the proper schedule but this high pressure kind of takes dominance once we get into the summer and the closer it really gets to the central plains the hotter it gets that's why we have excessive heat warnings out across parts of kansas missouri heat advisory southwest missouri north east oklahoma down through oklahoma so the heat and the humidity plus with this high it keeps all the storm systems uh up where the jet stream is every now and then we get little waves that rotate around it but we can't get any big storm systems in here so let's go through time we're going to go over about the next week. So uh, here's on Monday, next Monday. So you can see it, it's getting even closer to us and it moves right on top of us through the middle of next week. And then it slowly starts to break down a little bit late next week. So we're really not going to see any uh, decent relief from the heat until that high breaks down. It may not even break down that much. We do have a little wave kind of rotating around that high. So you can see some clouds out across um, parts of Missouri and Kansas down through Oklahoma and a few random little showers, very light showers. So let me stop this here. You know, we'll go up toward Kansas City, a couple light showers, uh, Topeka down toward Emporia, uh, one little thunder shower just to the west of Independence, Kansas. And then these extend back through the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. So as this wave kind of drops south and east, it could produce a few light showers southwest Missouri this afternoon. But again, most of you are going to end up staying dry. All right, let's go through time. Let's watch those weak little showers pushing through Kansas City. Uh, a couple trying to pop up near Joplin uh, as we go through the afternoon into the evening. But again, not a big deal. Just about everybody near 100 degrees. But at least we'll get some clouds and it's a little breezy out there. By morning. All of us, we only drop back upper 70s to near 80 for an overnight low. Then as we go through the daytime hours on Friday, again, there could be a few isolated little showers trying to pop up. But most of us, partly sunny, hot, humid, 100 in Kansas City, 101, Wichita, Dodge City, 101, 99, Oklahoma City, uh, St. Louis, up to about 103. We may get a complex in here tomorrow night that may try to drop in southeastern Kansas, southwestern Missouri, Saturday morning. So even though this model's not picking up on it, that is something I want to keep my eyes on. And then Saturday afternoon, everybody, partly sunny skies, hot and humid again. 100 in Joplin, Tulsa, Oak City, 98, Wichita, 97 in Kansas City, Springfield, 100 in Fort Smith. So it's super hot as we go through the next uh, several days. In fact, let's go long range. So this is over the next several weeks. So all the yellow days are days I expect to be above normal. So we're talking, you know, really roughly 94, 95 and above. So of course today, tomorrow, Saturday, uh, a few isolated showers today, again tomorrow, and then a few over the weekend. But look at the hot stretch all the way through the first week of August, mainly dry. Then we get a wave in here next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And hopefully that will cool us down a little bit. So the gray days are kind of days that are closer to normal, closer to 90 for a high. So on the 5th, 6th, 7th, heat up on the 8th, and then drop back down. So that second week of August, a little bit of a relief from the extreme heat, which is nice. And uh, you can see the hit, miss showers and thunderstorms. As we go into the third week of August, heat wave kicks right back in. So the 13th through the 19th, uh, extreme heat. Not much in the way of rain chances. And then as we go into to the last week of August, then we start getting a little bit of relief 
once again, but you can tell, I mean, if we, let's see if I count them up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So really over about the next 30 days or so, like 21 of them are going to be extreme heat. So not good, not a whole bunch of rain, but again, as the pattern shifts, we'll start to see some changes in this over the next couple months. All right, guys, any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below. Chat soon.